In many ways, America's relationship with Albania is one of the strongest that my country has. That relationship, of course, is based on steadfast belief and confidence in the democratic ideals that guide both of our nations. Americans and Albanians alike support self-governance over the heavy hand of authoritarianism. I can say this with confidence because I personally witnessed Albania's celebration of freedom on June 22, 1991. On that day, I became the first high-level American official to visit Albania after the country's long period of forced isolation that started during World War II and continued through the end of the Cold War. Standing in Tirana on a makeshift wooden stage before more than 300,000 Albanians, I was overwhelmed by the crowd's response to my simple words, freedom works. They answered, USA, USA, USA. Since then, American-Albania relations have grown and prospered. Albania has had U.S. support for opening its economy and providing opportunity for all of its people. America, meanwhile, has had a steadfast ally in the struggle for regional and global security, particularly as an unwavering member of NATO. Our relationship is particularly important during the current threat against Ukraine. On the 100th anniversary of U.S.-Albania relationship, I want to congratulate the advances Al Albania has made towards building a better and safer world for themselves and their neighbors. Above all, I want to congratulate them for their dedication to the belief that, indeed, freedom does work. Thank you.